Fox, and welcome to your special guest Friday on your R360 Morning News. I'm your host, Philip Tomeo. And I'm Jamie Olivero. Today is Friday, January 26th, and day three on the school calendar. Mr. Oliviero, can you tell us what kinds of activity, what kinds of things, activities you've done here at school this week? Well, I've been working with uh, kindergarten and grade one twos and grade three fours and grade five sixes and sevens and eights on stories and storytelling. And each of those groups has built a new story that will be shared with the whole school, Red Hawk Nation, over the next few weeks. All right, let's take a look at one of the stories that our classes came up with while working with Mr. Oliviero this week. So sit back and enjoy listening to the grade five and sixes mountain story about a misunderstood Yeti. Philip, you got to say thank you right now. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Lopez, for sending in the video. Let's check it out. It was a peaceful day in the mountains. The goats were prancing around, having fun. The mountain lions were sharpening their claws on the rocks. Mountain lions were also roaring. The eagle fly behind the mountain. Titan, uh, My horse's name is Brooke. Brooke, yes. The wild horses were glazing. And the downy woodpeckers were sticking their very long tongues and catching all the bugs. The owls were getting ready to take flight. The mountain goats felt a vibration and wondered what it could be. The ground was shaking coming up the mountain was a yeti. The mountain lions were scared and ran away. The goat was ramming the Yeti with her sharp horns. The mountain lion was clawing at Miss Abbott. Horses were going crazy and running at the Yeti. Go. The owl was wondering what all the commotion was. The, um, the eagles were dive bombing the Yeti and bounced right off. The downy woodpeckers charged at the Yeti with their sticky tongues. The pink slithering salamanders heard what was happening and used their spidey senses to figure it out. When they did, they created a big, huge river of pink, slimy salamanders. Slime appears below the Yeti, which makes it slip. Uh, the owl asks the Yeti, who are you? I'm just a sad and lonely and hungry Yeti. I, I don't know what to do. Great work, class, and a huge thank you to Mr. Jamie Oliviero for being our guest artist this whole week. We were privileged to hear a master storyteller re regale us with fantastic stories. That's me. The kindergarten to grade eight students also participate in the creation of stories and their stories centered around common themes of community, commonality, inclusion, the strengths we carry within us, and participation. And we had a wonderful, a fantastic week all working together. And I want to thank everyone for the opportunity to be part of your school community this week. Thanks again, Mr. Oliveira. And now for the news. In our lunch report, this is very important, everybody pay attention, we're having cheeseburgers with chips on the menu for today. Tomorrow in the Hawks Nest Cafe will be chicken nuggets and tater tots. Yum. Your varsity Red Hawks were in action again last night, taking on the Carmen Cougars in their first meeting of the year. The first five minutes saw a little offensive success, but the girls picked up the pace, dominating the victory. The girls sit atop the zone four standings with a perfect 6-0 record on the season. Your Red Hawks are back and today they take on the St. John's Ravens Court Eagles at the W.C. Miller Tournament at 4. Live streaming is available on the W.C. Miller website for anyone that wants to tune in throughout the weekend. High school exam week is coming up next week and your guidance counselor has some study tips for you. 
Today's tip to maximize your study efforts is to study with your eyes open. Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> is to complete all of your assignments. Next Thursday is the final day to hand in assignments and projects. This is, and this is one of the most important and effective ways to get your mark above 50%. If you take care of your time management and your concentration, getting assignments done should not be a problem. It is a way better it's way better to hand something in rather than not handing it in at all. You don't want an assignment to be late or incomplete. We have three Red Hawks of the week coming from grade five, six class. Their teacher would like to acknowledge Riley Beaulieu, Eden Ides, e and Paisley Fair. Ms. Savern says these students go above and beyond daily to ensure their classmate Kaylee is always involved in included in all of our classrooms activities and experiences. I can tell you from their time with me that these students do a wonderful job encouraging their classmates to participate in gym and music and that all her strengths are highlighted and her love of wild horses. <laughs> Way to go <gasps> Riley, Eden, Paisley and also Casey. Ka 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 sorry. Kaylee. <laughs> the R360 News would like to send out happy birthday wishes to Riley Fable and Jackie for tomorrow. And to Theodore Gilson and Lucas Ides for tomorrow. Happy birthday, Riley, Fable, Jackie, Theodore, and Lucas. <laughs> That's it for this week. Have a great day at school. We are, let's do it together now. This is it. Okay, okay. Are you ready? The okay, big yeah, finale. Yeah. We, we are, are signing, signing off. off. Okay.